Are you interested in the crypto world? If you are interested in the world of cryptocurrencies, surely you've heard of decentralized finance platforms or DeFi. Well, let me do a quick run summary. DeFi is the general term used to describe decentralized currencies or financing through public blockchains. This concept is set to bypass financial intermediaries and change the way people transact. While most people are aware of cryptocurrencies, not many know what decentralized finance is all about. That's why we're taking an in-depth look at DeFi and everything you need to know. Hello everybody, in today's video we're going to be looking at what DeFi is, how NFT can be used in DeFi, and the differences between NFT and DeFi. But before we start, consider subscribing to my channel and smash the bell icon to get tuned. Done? Alright, let's begin. What is DeFi? DeFi is short for Decentralized Finance and it integrates all financial applications that are in the framework of blockchains. Broadly speaking, these are peer-to-peer -peer transactions, that is, operations that are carried out directly between two people without intermediaries. Blockchain is the technology behind cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin and Ethereum. It maintains public records on decentralized servers of any transaction. This means that no centralized institution controls the transactions or simply put, no bank manages them. In cryptocurrencies, a DeFi protocol is a system that offers a financial service through the exchange of a crypto asset. Among its advantages, decentralization, security and automation stand out. Currently, most DeFi projects make use of the protocols of the Ethereum network, a system widely known for the coin of the same name. Some of the newer users of DeFi platforms include decentralized exchanges, money lending, interest generation, and the use of digital representations of physical currencies and also the creation of investment funds. Why is DeFi important today? DeFi emerges as an alternative to traditional financial solutions, taking control of financial institutions and returning it to the people. Centralized institutions and gatekeepers can control the speed and sophistication of transactions, but with DeFi, control is entirely in the hands of the two parties involved in a transaction. Why is DeFi so attractive? DeFi has been attractive and used worldwide mainly because there are no commissions or associated costs. With traditional financing options, there are various associated costs. DeFi is practically free since there are no intermediaries. There are no fees or salaries to pay, making it a much cheaper option. There are also no transaction fees, while traditional banks often charge fees for many of their transactions. Transactions are very fast and secure. Transactions are lightning fast with no waiting periods. No one needs to authorize transactions and there is no system for them to go through. And there are no quantity limits either. In addition, they are more secure because they are backed by blockchains. In addition, the parties involved can see the complete history of transactions. This lowers your risk since you know exactly what awaits you. How does DeFi work? To start trading DeFi, you need software which is usually referred to as decentralized applications or dApps. Most apps run on Ethereum blockchains. By interacting with DeFi, several different tasks can be performed. You can lend crypto to others and earn interest. Instant loans can be accessed without the paperwork. These are incredibly fast loans called flash loans that traditional banks do not offer. You can trade crypto with other users. Crypto can be put into saving accounts that earn higher interest. You can make long or short bets on certain currencies, almost like the crypto version of futures contracts and stock options. Once you have made a transaction, it is captured in the block and verified by other users. Once these users accept the transaction, the block is encrypted and another block is created, containing the information from the previous block. Now, how can NFT be used in DeFi? The so-called decentralized finance, DeFi and NFTs, non-fungible tokens already walk hand in hand. As we move forward, the crypto world is increasing in complexity and adapting to new economies, as in the case with NFTs, non-fungible tokens. NFTs are tokenized elements on the blockchain that have a variable value between them. An example would be the CryptoKitties or CryptoPunks. But it is important to note that not all NFTs have the same support. Some are backed by digital goods and services and others by real goods and services. DeFi and NFTs Moving the magnifying glass a bit, we see that DeFi or decentralized finance have not ceased to be news since it became part of our daily lives. DeFi is any type of finance existing in the conventional world but backed by blockchain. It can be from a simple purchase via the internet, e-commerce, to participation in cryptocurrency exchanging platforms. 
but in a decentralized way, as it is based on blockchain technology. Currently, there are multiple scenarios where DeFi and NFT worlds are merging. Perhaps you have tried them, but without realizing it. In stablecoins, when using stablecoins as a payment method for tokenized goods and services, or failing that for their minting. Thus, we reach a point where NFT is used in DeFi. Some may be surprised to see stablecoins being considered as DeFi, but it is a layman base of finance. In DAO, the acronym DAO stands for Decentralized Autonomous Organization, which we can say that it's an organization operating on DeFi. The DAOs allow, together with the NFTs, to create a new ecosystem. The said ecosystem would be defined as balanced since it would allow an increase in attention to copyright. But it is not only that, they also add equitable benefits in circular economies where each member belongs to the organization or community will benefit from sales, purchases, and endorsements of NFTs. It is very important to note that these systems attract anyone who has had the bitter pill to pay high fees to third parties for a sale, purchase, or sponsorship of goods and services. In loans, since loans are one of the most important legacies of finance, they could not be excluded from a new stage of the economy. In the NFT world, many projects work towards blocking tokenized assets for loans. This means that many artists who have a hard time paying attention to their art can move on with their careers, or allow anyone who has tokenized a real asset, such as a house or an apartment, which can be verified, to request a loan and be able to pay by meeting certain terms and conditions. In any case, NFTs are being touted as the next big thing in the world of DeFi. In the first week of September, NFTs recorded sales worth 1 million US dollars. In the week that followed the month, sales rose to 2 million dollars. What an explosion! According to experts, it is the DeFi paradigm that has helped NFTs become so important. In this sense, we could say that they feed each other. This, considering that NFTs help expands the collateral market in DeFi loans because unknown to many, a DeFi lending and lending platform require collateral. For example, a piece of art or real estate can be tokenized as NFT and put up as collateral. But the use of NFT goes beyond the scope of guarantees. They also mean the possibility of representing more complex financial products such as insurance, bonds, etc. And this without forgetting the NFTs related to the issuance of governance tokens. Many NFT platforms and markets have started issuing and distributing their governance tokens. What about the differences between NFT and DeFi? Although both NFTs and cryptocurrencies are based on the blockchain, they serve substantially different purposes. The main distinction between the two is that DeFi in cryptocurrencies is fungible, while NFTs are non-fungible, which means that NFTs cannot be replaced by others. NFTs are unique digital assets backed and verified on the blockchain. While DeFi in cryptocurrencies is decentralized, digital currencies with transactions recorded on the blockchain. Another difference is not far-fetched. Looking at how NFT and DeFi work, we could say that NFT creates an outstanding way of storing value or data, while DeFi offers a method of unlocking values. And that's it. Finally, the DeFi space has seen record growth as the total value locked in the space tripled. At the same time, the NFT space has received equal attention from both the crypto space and the mainstream. And many projects are now looking to combine the two spaces and bring DeFi NFT markets to the forefront. That's all for now. I hope you liked this video. If you did, kindly click on the like button and consider subscribing to my channel. And don't forget to smash the bell icon to get notified. See you in the next video. Thanks and bye for now.